right, made it back out, you guys. So, two things I want you to know if you get one of these boats, guys. You got to get it registered, of course, if you're going to use a trolling motor. If not, you use paddle here and you got to get it registered. But you're going to always want to have a paddle and a life vest. No matter what, that battery can go out and you need to get back to land. That had happened to me before. All right, so I got my ugly stick that Jamel, Jamal gave to me yesterday. And uh, I'm going to fish with that. And I thank you again, Jamal, for that. I already put some line on it. 10-pound test. Went a little heavier. I normally use 6-pound line. And uh, I got this new reel that I ordered, a DC-2000. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, I ordered off of Amazon. Uh, no, nah, I actually ordered off of Timu. I think that's how you say it, T-E-M-U. And uh, this is my old Bass Pro Shop Classic Series 2000 rod that I used to catch a lot of fish on. I just put it on that rod, six foot six. And then I got my other rod that I normally fish for with the crappies and bluegills. And I got three rods, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna be fishing for crappies, bass, bluegills. I'm just gonna have a great time, you guys. Remember to have this rope, you guys, when you push that out, cause you don't want that to float away. I know I, I said that a lot, but it will happen. I ain't rode a bike in so long, but my old knee's feeling it. All right, I'm going to get in just like this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this ugly stick Jamal gave to me. And uh, we're going to see if we somebody else is out here fishing it. I'm going to get up on that bridge in a minute, but I'm going to start off with this ugly stick. The Roadrunner and uh, the Monkey Milk Color uh, uh, Bobby Garland. Here we go, you guy. God, God, he got off. Ooh, you saw that? Dang. They right there. They be in this brush. Drop some minnows down there, boy. You let it limit out. There we go. Went right back and got another one. You two first one today. Keeper. That is a keeper. There you go. Let me kind of get off and over here. All right. All right, Jamal. First one, Jamal, on the uh, the um, reel that you gave me, brother. I appreciate it, man. So I'm going to see if I can put it to use today. All right, YouTube, that's what I got it on. Monkey Milk Roadrunner. 10 inch crappie. All right, guys, let's measure it for y'all. Which I already know it's 11 inches, but I'm gonna let you guys see it. I already know that. Mouth at the bottom. Past 11 inches, guys. So that's 11 right here. It's up here is 12. There you go. All right. Let's get them on a stringer. There you go, YouTube. Got it on the stringer. Let's get back over to that brush. I used to catch it right here in front. Got some brush right here, too.
but when they're not feeding, they tight up in this brush. And you gotta go in there and get them. Alright, let me try here on the outside one more time and then we're gonna go. There we go. Went it right down there. Oh, right down there and got one. Keeper. Yeah, as soon as I came to the out, a little bit on the outside of it, I got him. That's a keeper. I'll measure it for you guys so you can see, but it's a keeper. I don't have to actually measure it by wheel. Just so y'all can see. All right, there we go, YouTube. Another, my second keeper here. This is about 11 as well. I got, I'm getting a bite. I got another bite. Look at that. Just, just trolling. Just trolling, you guys. That might not be a keeper there. Let me throw it back out there. Shoot. Let's throw it back out there and see what happens. But it's a keeper right here, I know. Math at the bottom, you guys. Math right here. It's uh, a little bit past 11 inches, guys. So it's about 10 and 3 fourth. That's a keep. Oh, no, I got him on. I got him on. Uh, then let's see if this other. No, that's not a keeper. The other one. The other one about, uh, I don't know, maybe about, about 8, 8 and a half. It's long, though. Jesus Christ, that's a skinny fish. Even if it was 10, I wouldn't want to keep it because it just ain't got no weight on it. All right, so fish number two, it's on Tyler. Let's undo the, uh, the, the tie thing here. All right. They're decent. They're decent, guys. 11 inches is decent to me. I ain't always got to catch a 12, 13, 14, 15 inch crop. All right, YouTube. So this is how I tie my knot. So take the line through. Grab both loops. Make a loop with your finger. One, two, three. Hold it. Bring it down. Get it close to that jig. See how that jig is kind of sitting like this. All right, and when I bounce it, that, that, that uh, roll blade, that blade kind of jumps right like this, like a shad just popping around. And they they come and get it. They come and get it. So you ain't got to just cast a roll runner. You can you can vertical jig it as well. One, there you go. Two, three. And I do one more. This ten pound test line. So that's all I need. And this is it, guys. Not no fancy knot. Ain't not no name for it. That's just all I do. Cut a little bit off of it. There you go. And I just set the drag, you know. I just set the drag. That's it. So let's get back out there. I'm liking this ugly, ugly stick, you guys. I'm liking it. I'll, go, I'll show you the fish here. There you go. Back over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I got two. I missed some. Got two. So get some bites about the by the brush. Uh, been out here about 35 minutes now. So I'm gonna fish the brush for a little bit. Maybe I can get about four or five off the brush before I go and hit the bridge, and then we're gonna come back to the brush. We're gonna be going back and forth. And I might try. I might go on down some and try some other spots for some gills and stuff like that. But uh, I'm having fun right here in this brush pile. So let's see what happens. Went down and got that joke. Went down and got him. I felt him. Hitting like a bluegill. He down there hitting like bluegills, you guys. Barely tapping. Barely tapping. Another keeper. I ain't got to measure, you guys. I ain't got to measure. it. 
11, 11 and a half. 11, 11 and scrappy right there. They all about the same size. No big whopper yet. A lot of people don't even keep the big ones. They keep the uh, 10 to 11s. Maybe 12. I haven't had no crappies since I fished them back in April at uh, McInnes, I think. No, I did catch, I think I caught four over in, in Providence. There you go, starting to add up. That's three. Let me put this back out there, see if I can hit anything. Watch. This stuff right here. I would. Here we go, you guy. Oh, man. I got a big old catfish, you guy. I'm talking about a big old catfish. Ooh, he broke the line. Dang. I didn't set that drag. Ooh, he broke the line, guys. I had a big old catfish. I saw it. Dropped right down there and got off my That was about a five-pound catfish. Broke the line. I had it so tight because I was catching croppers, you guys. I wasn't thinking. So I had it set tight. I was thinking I was gonna get a, a big old catfish on this. So now it's time for me to set the drag just right for bass, catfish, whatever. Mm, that joke would even give me a chance to fight. Well, I felt them and I saw them. It's all good. All good in the neighborhood. You can't catch them all. Can't catch them all, you folks. Can't, where my seals is at? There we go. It'd been nice to see it, though. To show it to y'all. I don't like messing with catfish, but it's been nice to show it to you guys. All right, I'm going to go with Blue Thunder. That monkey milk, I'm out of That's the only one I had, but it produced. It produced for me. It did its job today. There we go. I want to catch one of them big jokes, so let me make sure. There we go. Ooh, that was nice. And right where I said the fish should be, that's where I got a fish at. Ain't that something? Right where I said the fish should be. Bam. Right back over there. So I was right in there in that area when I tossed in there. I'm gonna toss on the outside first, and then I'm just gonna work my way around. Got one. Oh, God dang, today ain't my day, you guys. I'm sorry for cussing, but today ain't my day. Sorry for cussing. Jeez. Jane Wiggle ain't doing too good. Oh, bluegill's hidden. Got, got the, what you call all.
Yeah, it's some bluegill hitting up out there, you guys. There we go. Got one. <laughs> oh, you little bass getting off of here. Doing any good today, brother? Are you on the crappies? Hold on, I didn't hear you. Yeah, what's up, bro? Good, man, how about to tell? <laughs> we on them crappies? Yeah, they biting good, man. You getting, you getting up on the hero or you uh, out? Oh, down in the pylon down there? Yeah. You got something down that way? I oh yeah, you wore them out. <laughs> I ain't never well I went that far down, but I'll go down there catch for bass and, and um gill, but I ain't never went down there for crappies. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to go down there. What's your name, bro? Tyrone. Tyrone, okay. E, EJ, bro. Yes, sir, man. Where you get on the minnows or them jigs? I appreciate you, man. I appreciate the support. Bro, pull it up again for you too. Man, look at my ooh, hoo, hoo. my man killed them. Man, you done went down to acting food. Look at this one down there. Yeah. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking. I got me three. I, you, so you that, you that other truck, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You been out here for more, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did it, man. You good. You, you, you know, anything else you... I'm about to say, anything else you catch, just a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, wait, once I get to five or seven, yeah, 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 yeah. anything else I catch, yeah, if it... The first, the first I see that big old bass, yeah. I missed a, uh, I missed a few little bass down there playing around for them crappie. The more hit, hit one, one, and a big old catfish. I'm gonna have it on here. Joker hit that joker so hard, man. Catfish hit it so hard. He didn't give me a chance to fight. Is that right? Pop. I said, God dang it. Cause I didn't have my drag set. All right, brother. My holler. I'm gonna go on down there. Wait for a minute. Nice meeting you, bro. All right. Nice you. Oh, you too, brother. You gave me motivation. I was about to go, but I'm going to go down and so give you about three more. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that line. Yeah, we're gonna come, we're gonna try back over here by this uh, tree here. I get the blue thunder on there, so let's see what happens. He was swimming with it.
Here we go, you guy. Oh, he got off. Man, what a big crop. Okay, right back down there, you guy. Right back down there. Let's see if anything else is down there. He ain't the only one. I guarantee that. Most of my bikes actually is coming from in there. Most of my bikes are coming from inside this thing right here. Right in this area here, yep. I done missed some good crappers today, you guys. Right down, they got one. Put that dude, put that Jane Wiggle on them. See how they just falling out, man. I'm, they were just falling out of there. Keeper, 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 you guy. All right, let me. I don't want to get hung up here. I just leave it right there. There we go. Fish number four. All right, guys, so these are beautiful fish, clean water, clean, safe water. I've been, I've been catching fish here for 20 some years, 25, my son, 25, 25 years, been eating fish out here for 20 some years, still got a two legs and two arms. <laughs> people be like, what that, people be like, where that water coming from? I don't know, man, I guess the Trinity. There we go. There we go. Let's keep it going. Let's get back over there, you guys. Let's get right back over there. I got that one on Blue Thunder. And uh, a crappy bite. I don't miss about four or five, too. So I caught that one kind of shallow, actually. So I'm going to drop down to about a couple feet and see if they're biting in about two feet. I wasn't way down there, actually. I caught that one shallow. I was holding the rod up kind of high. I caught it right in this area. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't shallow at all. Two feet. I went to about two and a half feet. And I there go another one. Keeper. All of them about 11, 11 and a half. 11 to 11 and a half. Every one of them. There we go. There we go, you guys. Another keeper. 
another keeper. YouTube, we're killing them, YouTube. Bring them in today. And what I'm doing, YouTube, is I'm just kind of going down to the bridge and back down here to the brush. Down to the bridge and back down. I did go down there to the bass fish a couple. I missed a couple bass. Cause I wanted to, uh, God dang it, it's okay, I can fool. I had wanted to, uh, I had wanted to see if I can catch a bass, but I don't know, not today. I missed a couple of them. YouTube, I'm having a blast, YouTube. I met one of my followers, man, name was Tyrone. I can remember him, my uncle's name was Tyrone, so it was cool to meet him, and he had a string of full of crappies. So the fish are biting, man. The fish are biting out here. They're biting good. You just got to find them. Let's get back at it. We're we, we working this brush today. All my fish came out of that brush over there. So let's get back at it, you guys. There we go. We're starting to get a mess of them. We're starting to get a mess of them. We got uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Five now. If I can get ten, that would be pretty cool. If I start missing them, I have 10. Yeah, All right, let's get back over there. Right here in the middle, right here, right here in the open. I usually catch them out here in this open, like that right there. I usually catch them out there in that open like that. Another keeper, another 11 inch. They're all about the same size, nothing, nothing massive. Calm down. We got this tree here. There you go. Another 11. 10 and a half, 11. Easily. All right. There you go, YouTube. All right. Put this on the stringer. So you guys, you see how I'm playing with the different depth? I was at four feet. I think I even went to six feet when I caught those earlier ones. And now, and now I'm at two feet. And that, now I'm getting a stringer, you guys. Now I'm starting to get a stringer. Now let's get back over there. Blue Thunder roll running with a blade. So these guys I show you that the blade does work. And uh and what I like to do on the crappie bite, I like to make sure that hook is through the crappie bite. There we go. Go, you guys. Went down and got another one. Oh, another 11 inch. There we go. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm going down and dropping right in their mouth. There we go. That's what's getting them, you guys. That's what's getting them. There we go.
a couple of my followers had found me on um, Facebook and they had asked me, I guess because I got away from the crappies, I was so hard on the bluegills. So they asked me, you, you, uh, you don't catch uh, crappies in the summertime after the spawn? Like, you can't catch crappies after that? So, hey guys, this is for you guys. Just look for the timber. So if you out, big body water, small body water, whatever, just look for the timber. And, and a little deep water. It ain't got to be super deep, but look for that and, and you'll find it, you know. You'll find those crappies. Go, you guy. It's right here, something big. This is probably a bass or a catfish. This would be a good fit. Big old catfish, guy. This would be a good fish to end the day off. Let me get on out here. Hold on. That's what I missed earlier in that brush. I don't want him to wrap me up in my trolley motor. Boy, he put water everywhere on me. And I got my, my neck. Yep. I'm talking about a big old cat. I'm gonna take them home too. I'm gonna take them home and eat them. Just for wetting me up. Just for wetting me up. Now I'm just gonna let him just wear himself out, you guys. Oh my god. It's about a uh, five pound cat, probably. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. I ain't got time to be playing game with him. I get him up, he's caught. There we go. Oh yeah. Way to end it off, YouTube. Way to end it all. About a five pound catfish. He going home. Catfish nuggets today. <sighs> right in that, right in that, uh, right in that brush. Boy, when he hit, I know that was no, no crappie. Uh, yeah, well, I said probably about a four, three, four pound. They just strong as heck. That's all that is. They just strong as heck. Channel cat. Calm down. Way to end it off. Come down. There we go. There we go, you two. Nice old china cat. Let me put him on a string and then we gone. Well, I ain't gonna even put him on a string. I'm just gonna act, throw him in the bucket. Oh, that slime here. There you go. So he's in the bucket. Now what I'm going to do is take all my fish out, put them in the bucket too, and I'm going to get out of here. Go home and relax. All right, here we go, you two. There we go. There we go. All of them go in there. And I'm about to call it a day. Dang it. Shoot, hold on. Get my neck gone. God dang it. Ah, my neck gone. God dang it. Ah, man, man, man. I'm tripping. I'm going to see if I can drop down and get it. I don't move. I ain't going to be able to get it. I don't move out of the way. What in the world? I'm tripping. Well, that taught me something. Put, put some kind of floating device on my neck and stuff that mean a lot to me. 
I ain't even play game with it. I go and buy another one. I ain't gonna even play game. I just go and buy another one. Lesson learned. 